My voice is loud and clear. No voice. One minute, one minute, one minute. One second. Okay, it's clear. Okay, just one minute. Let me check if everything's fine, looks great. Yeah, I can hear myself, yeah. Okay. Just one more minute, okay. Then we are good to go. <laughs> I'll be back one second. Just give me one minute, I'll be back. I will wait for a minute. Yeah, good evening. Today's class really, really will be very, very important for, for you all. But whether you're working in the data analyst, data scientist, or any software engineer, okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. So uh, welcome, good evening, everyone, to Analytics with Anand, the YouTube channel. So this is the lecture number 13, where today we will be mastering all your regular expressions, which you will highly use in your Python, in SQL, or whether you are working in any programming language. So the, I mean, the base will remain the same, whether you are working in SQL or Python or any programming language. This is widely used in every industry whether it's data analytics, data scientists, software developer, everywhere. So focus in today's class, okay? I need all of you to be very, very attentive. And this class may extend beyond also because I need to wrap up regular expression by today itself. So that's why. Let me see who all are joining from where. One second. Okay. Where is my PPT? One second, let me share my screen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Where is the PPT? Yeah. Here we go. Let's share the screen. And we are good to go. Can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, now screen is visible. Right? Yes. So first of all, why regular expression? What is the exactly the meaning of regular expression and how in the business use case you will be using it? Right? Say, for example, client has given you any, any, uh, this one, any string data, like it's a complete document client has given it to you. Right, client has given you a complete big list of document. In there, some name of the person is there, country code is there, any pin code is there, and and you need to extract this, and you need to extract this. You know, you don't know their position because in the entire document, suppose ten thousand lines is there, then you can't use substring over there, right? It won't work. Things will become things will go wrong because 10,000 lines of expression when you are reading it and you are, you don't know at which place my at the rate has come up, my name of the person has come up or any pin code has come up, any mobile number has come up. It's a continuous stretch of data. I've given you three, four pages. 
then in that case you can make use of the regular expression and things will go really easy from there okay got it i'm plugging out of my earphone yeah okay right so in that case we'll be going with the regular expression so regular expression it's it's really complex it's not as easy as it looks many in may, some of the few companies they will ask you uh, whether you are aware of regular expressions or not because this is highly used in python and sql so this class is really really very very important for you i will go really really slow right really really slow will go that's why i have divided this entire sql into three part part one part two part three now those who have joined for the first time they can refer part one and part two video also for the easy understanding right for the easy understanding so let's see one thing so what will be the agenda here basically so this is basically we will be pattern matching there will be certain pattern and then we'll be matching with that right these are basically used for the validation purpose regular expression mostly will be used for a validation purpose suppose user has entered the date in the correct format or not i want my date to be in mmdd and yy only mmdd and yy with hyphen sign in between and i want to validate that whether the users has written correctly or not then in that case your regular expressions plays a huge role huge huge role it will play right so basically regular expression will work for the pattern matching will be matching matching certain pattern right then meta characters will see what are the meta characters you cannot write directly the regular expression without understanding what are these meta characters and all so these are very very important and the regular expression functions which are available in the snowflake and which we can use it which we can use it let's see okay yes so first of all everyone is aware of the like operator is any one of you are there who is watching me live or later on who will watch it who is not aware of the like operator i have already discussed this and i have showcased you the use case also like operator most of the time you will be using the like operator right correct everyone knows like operator how to use it in sql very basics command in sql and how you can use the like operator so if you give the percentage sign it means you are matching multiple character so if you give percentage sign it means you are matching multiple character and if you give underscore it means you are matching a single character both use case also i have shown you again i'll be showing you in today's class also right i cannot directly jump to the regular expression because i need the baseline to be set up for this class so like operator has two parameter here percentage which is for the multiple characters reading multiple characters you can read and underscore single character so this will form a basis for your regular expression okay this will form a basis for your regular expression let's see everyone is clear with this tell me or you need explanation any non tech people those who have joined if you need my help over here just let me know so suppose i want to know the name of all the people name of all the employee whose name starts with ba whose name starts with ba followed by any character followed by any character i am i'm not worried about what is the character after this this percentage includes this percentage means multiple character after ba it can be anything bhavesh banda bates baida bair you see ba will remain common ba will remain common right ba will remain common after this any number of characters will be there for me doesn't matter i need the list of all the employee whose name start with ba right ba so this is the very simple i can use my like operator i can get it there is no use of regular expression at all here right so what is the code first name comma last name from employee where last name like and then single quote you right ba percentage this will work in your sql workbench this will work in any of the cloud environment or anywhere in the local also if you are testing like operator works like a charm okay like operator works like a charm so this is clear for you all i believe now so you might have aware of this correct let's go next yeah same what is the meaning of underscore what is the meaning of underscore i need the list of all the employee name which starts with ba which starts with ba ends with da which starts with ba ends with da and followed by a single character your underscores denote single character followed by a single character followed by a single character percentage means multiple underscore means single make sure you don't get confused okay percentage means single and underscore means sorry percentage means multiple and underscore means single right so i need the list of all the employees which starts with ba ends with da and a single character in between so ba da ba da and only one character i want in between not two if you want two character you will give two underscore you will give two underscore right you will give two underscore 
Clear with this part? You'll give two underscore. Okay, let's move. So like operator, you need to understand this, which will form a basis for your regular expression. Next. Let's move on to the next. Yes. Now you tell me, what if you needed to find all words where every second character is a vowel? Say, for example, you are doing an NLP project has come up. Your client has given you natural language processing project and your client has given you a text file. Your client has given you a text file and he is telling you to find all words where every second character is a vowel. Now your like won't work. The substring won't work. All these things will be a failure because in a document, you might have one lakh of words, 10,000 of words. You don't know in that case. So here your regular expressions will come up into picture will come up into picture. Okay. So what are regular expressions basically? So regular expression is a method of describing both simple and complex pattern for searching and manipulating. Okay. We search it, we manipulate it, we validate it. Uses meta characters for pattern matching. We'll see. We'll see. Don't worry. Don't worry. What is this meta character? We'll see. What are the list of all the meta characters? which we can include it here. And then it is available on Oracle also. So Oracle implementation is an extension of the POSIX portable operating system for Unix. So this regular expression is a part of your Oracle 11G database, which most of the company uses it, right? So whatever I'm going to teach you today, that will work whether you're working on an Oracle database or whether you are working in the cloud environment. Exactly everything will work, right? Mostly we'll be using all the snowflake commands here. Okay, we'll be using the snowflake commands here. So basically, so the regular expressions are used mostly for the validation purpose, right? The validation purpose and pattern matching and mostly for the pattern matching. Highly used in NLP. Highly used in NLP, right? Highly used in NLP. Okay, next. Let's go to the next. Yes, ah, so these are the meta characters and make sure you should be aware of this. Until and unless you understand this meta character, there is no way you can understand the regular expression. That's why I have kept this PPT for you all. So first one is, what is this? This means marks the start of a line. So this superscript, which we say, marks the start of a line. We'll see example also. Everything I'll discuss in minute detail. So have patience. This class might go for one and a half hour also. So have patience because I don't want to break the flow. I don't want to break the flow. Entire regular expression, I want to do it in the one class, right? So make sure because anyhow, Saturday, Sunday, we are not having any class. So you can be with me. Yeah. So this marks the start of a line. Dollar. This marks the end of the line. This you need to buy heart. It's very, very important. Yeah. So start of the line is your, uh, what do you say? Power function, you can say. On the end of the line is your dollar. End of the line is your dollar. Next comes matching list. What list you are trying to match? Enclose it in a Square bracket, square bracket, same as a list in Python. If you are aware, square bracket means list, square bracket means list. So here also I'm checking it. Then what is a single pipe, single pipe in your keyboard with a slash operator for specifying alternative matches, logical or suppose I need to match A or letter E like that. I'm just saying I want to match whether letter A or E or O or U. A, E, I, O, U or I, vowels. I want to match vowels. So I can give like this. Just an example I'm giving you. This is the matching. What all matches? Either A or E or O or U or I. Like that. So single pipes denotes for matching alternative matches. Then what is this question mark? What is this question mark? So question marks matches zero or one occurrences. Every line by line is important. So question marks matches zero or one occurrence. Either that particular character will be present in my string or that particular character may not be present in my string also. So it will match either zero or one occurrence. Zero or one occurrence. Next comes your dot. Next comes your dot. Matches any character except null. So it will match your all character except null. Except null. Okay. Except null. Then what is this curly bracket? If I specify curly bracket and write the number three, what does it will mean? It will mean it will mean that it will matches exactly m times, so exactly three times, exactly four times, exactly eight times, or exactly ten times. Like that, it will be there. Clear? Then m comma n means matches at least m times, but no more than n times. I want certain character to match at least at least two times but not more than five times, right? Two times, but not more than five times. So this is the meaning of this. 
curly bracket single means exactly that particular number of times curly bracket a comma b means at least minimum but maximum so this is always the minimum part first part will be always the minimum i will eat at least two chapati and maximum i'll eat five chapati we can understand like this based on my hungerness based on my hungerness based on my hungerness minimum two maximum five minimum two maximum we'll see in the real case scenario don't worry but you need to understand this otherwise when we'll see the big complex regular expression things will go haywire so make sure you understand this all this so this means at least two times it is matching but not more than five times there might be some situation where occurrence is a a a and a is occurring six times right say for example a is occurring six times so i'll exclude this right not more than n times but m times so in this case my count will be one only not two right how many areas i pick we'll see this but you can't do vice versa yes at least m times but not more than n times that is the one next is your square bracket and two colon next is your square bracket and two colon specifies a character class and matches any character in the class matches yes 5 comma 2 can't happen yes 5 comma 2 cannot happen yes so it will give you an error specifies a character class and matches any character in the class so one any character class will specify it and we'll see whether that matching is happening in that character or not say character class i am giving something like a e 1 2 3 5 and i am giving any matching the character 5 whether the 5 is present in this or not in the lame name in the lame terminology i am making you understand we'll see one by one example of all this okay so that what it means and your backslash is a very very important in sql also this means escape character this means escape character you will see enormous uh, use of this backslash in your sql code in your sql code right in your sql code okay so this is the escape character so this you should be aware of all these characters when and where to use it right if you forget it then accordingly you can refer this ppt and all yeah okay but you should be aware because in interview they may ask you how is the start of a line dollar denotes always the end of a line that is the matching list same as a list operator this is the pipe zero or one occurrence is the question mark dot means any character except null matches exactly m times i want all of you to remember this if you can remember it well and good it will give you an ultra edge in your interview right interview suppose you are appearing for any nlp interview i'll say if you are going further down the line for the data science and any nlp project comes so you should know these things okay let's see one by one now yeah plus means matches one or more occurrence more than one star means matches zero or more occurrences star means matches zero or more occurrences single angle bracket means grouping for expression single angle bracket means grouping for expression then what was the square bracket square bracket is a matching list suppose in the list i am giving you a12 so it will match with a12 only right but here if i give the angle bracket it will be not grouping for expression we'll see the expression yeah yeah i'll give i'll give next slide hold on okay slash n means back reference expression we'll see where to use slash n where to use slash n slash n in the general terminology mean, means the next line if you use slash n in any programming language that means no you are going to the next line right but here it is the back reference expression we'll see how that it works let's see one by one let's see one by one the first example the first example superscript superscript oracle open world oracle open world what is the thing i am giving you here i am giving superscript and oracle word so starts with o yes it starts with o what does it mean starts with starts with dollar means end and this one apostrophe means starts with yes it is starting with o oracle o o is there correct there's a match the no it's not starting with o wrong oracle again it is starting with o right so it's a match and it's a case sensitive okay there should not be small o capital o i have given make sure okay so first two and first and third will be match there won't be a match with second so where you will use this whether a beginning of a line has o letter any line which start with the letter o so we'll use the apostrophe this uh, superscript uh, symbol and then the whatever word you write it in the uh, normal angle bracket okay for the expression i've told you this one why we use the angle bracket not the square bracket you should not use the square bracket things will go wrong see angle bracket grouping for expression oracle is an expression that's why we have used an angle bracket so this is clear first one this was pretty easy straight forward next next is your dollar next is your dollar so welcome to oracle whether oracle word is there at the end line ending with the word oracle 
line ending with the word oracle. Yes, it's there because dollar sign I've given me. It is there. It is not there. It is there. Clear? Clear? It is there. It is there. It is not there. So this is the one use case. Okay. Next. Next, yes, this is very, very important. Very, very important. Single, this one I have given you for the logical or. Agar aisa, nahi to aisa. Right, or condition. Right, or condition. Correct? So what I'm given, listen very, very carefully. Otherwise, you'll go wrong here. I have written the word STE. I have written the word STE. Okay, ST is everywhere. ST is everywhere. It's a case sensitive. S should be capital. I have not written S in small. ST, then I have given the expression because angle bracket means expression. Angle bracket means expression. And this means the or condition. So give me in the list of document, suppose it has 10,000 lines. Search for the word either starting with Steve. Either I need Steven or Stephen. I want to look for an employee whose name is either Steven or either Stephen. Right? So either Steven, so it will be S-T-E-V-E-N, S-T-E-V-E-N, correct? Or S-T-E-P-H-E-N. Either pH it will look for or it will look for V. pH and V. This won't be coming into the picture. This won't be coming into the picture. Clear? Anyone is anyone is having doubt in this? Because all I will combine, you'll see a very huge, big regular expression at the end of this class. Then at that time, you'll get really, really confused. Okay? So focus very, very carefully. If you're doing any other work, keep it aside for the time being. Because even if I get distracted, I'll, I'll, I'll lose the track. Right? For this class, it took me some four hours. You won't believe. I was working since evening just to make this class as perfect. All the examples, use case, business case, where and all, where you'll use the regular expression. Right? Coming every day, one hour is not an easy task. So very focus very, very tentatively. Clear this one? Repeat. I'll repeat again. Okay. I'll repeat again. Say, for example, I want the list in, in a list of document. Suppose document is there, 10,000 lines is there. You have 10,000 lines is there. Okay. I want whether the Steven, whether an employee whose name is Steven or Stephen is present is there or not. How you will know? It might be there at the 10,000 words. It might be there at the 899 words. Steven might be there at the, uh, suppose, uh, at the at position 1,200. So you don't know the position. You can't go manually and search, right? For that, we will write a code. We'll write a code. So what I'll do, Steven, I know the word is starting with either STE in both case, right? And it is ending with EN. So this is fine. S T I wrote it and E N I wrote it. S T I wrote it and E N I wrote it. Then I want either it is Stephen or either it is Steven. Either V or P H. Any one of them. So I'll group this into the expression. I'll group into the expression. I'll put a V, pipe and P H. Pipe is the or because I'm looking for the word Stephen or Stephen. In, usually this happens in the Aadhaar. Many times people name is written wrongly. Right? Sometimes my name, they write it Anand, the double A N A N D. Right in that case. So in that case, you can look for it. And sometimes they write DH also. So whenever you're confused, but Steven might be there, Stephen or Steven, and you want to look for such a, give your expression in that. Make sure you give it in the angle bracket. Make sure you give it in the angle bracket. And then starting and ending will remain the same. Starting and ending will remain the same. So wherever this word is appearing, any number of time in the document, and you will be able to do it. Any number of times in the document, you'll be able to do it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Regular expression. No one has explained me. This I have learned on my own by working on this expression. I was always, this was the most scariest part for me. Regular expression. Oh my God. If the interviewer used to ask is, I used to blabber at that time because, because regular expression, not a perfect explanation is there anywhere on the internet also. Right. Because there's so many expression here. So many logical, small, small bits, literals are there. That needs an understanding. That's why I have come this PPT. So until unless you have the understanding of this, you can't proceed further. So slowly, slowly, I'm proceeding one by one. Then I'll show you the very, very business use case. I have lined up everything in the snowflake. So don't worry at all. Just focus for today's class, right? So this is clear, logical or? This is clear for you all, logical or, right? Let's move next. Yes, next, dot. What does dot mean? Dot means single character match. Dot means single character match. I want to uh, list the name. Ari is there. Okay, Ari is there. Dot D. Single character match. So Ari is there. Ari is there. And after that, D should be there. Not the immediate one. 
not the immediate one, single character. After that, T has to be there. T can be immediately after that, or it can be also at the end. It can also be at the end. So this is my fixed. RE should be fixed. Okay. RE is fixed. It's reading it. RE is fixed. It is reading it. RE is fixed. Everything is RE fixed. Then dot. Single character. Dot means single character. After dot, I need B. D can be immediately after that or D can be at the end also. Right? So this is the D. Right? Single character match. After D, I need only a single character with D. D should be there. Okay? Single character match. In between, any, any one character can be there. Right? Yes. Here, what is the difference between dot and underscore? Where is dot and underscore? Oh, wait, I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. Okay. So dot means here single character match. Match I am. I have not explained underscore. Hold on. Okay. So this is single character match. So first and third will get match. This there is no match because D is not there. D is not there. Single character match. Next. Next we have. Yes. Are you, let's see. Oh, wow. Very good example. Focus on the screen. Look at this. Uh, the beauty of this PPT. Okay. Chalo. R. E. Okay. Let's see. R is there everywhere. Okay. Correct. Then character E is there. Okay. Correct. 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 E is there. Then dot I have given. Dot I have given. Understand this very, very carefully. I'll be going very, very slow. So understand this very, very carefully. Dot is there. After dot, there is an expression. After dot, I have given an expression. Angle bracket means expression. So what does this A to Z comma? A to Z means A to Z comma A to Z means any character from A to Z in capital letter or any character A to Z in small letter. This is highly used in the data analyst industry for the validation purpose when you'll be testing your use case, your query, whatever you have written correctly or not. Because you don't know, many people can write my name A, A starting with capital like this or like this. There can be so many use cases or they can also write in capital letter or they can also write in capital letter. So I'm not sure out of 10,000 lines whether user has written in my name in capital letter or small letter or in any particular letter, right? Either caps or no caps. So this means check A to Z either in capital letter, check A to Z not in capital letter, not in capital letter, okay? And then my ending will be D. My ending will be D. So all this will get match except this except this there won't be any match re is there in all of them re is there in all of them all of them re is there a to z a to z followed by a single character a to z a to z either capital either a small letter or capital followed by d i need it followed by d i need it so d is there only at the end and in this case so there will be a match this third character doesn't matter guys this third character doesn't get involved here I don't have any relation with this. It can be any between A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Either it can be capital letter or either it can be small letter. Huh. Now, after today's class, if the recruiter asks you whether you are going for a Python interview, do you have a knowledge of regular expression? Tell them yes. Mention this word in your resume. Good understanding of regular expression. You can mention in any of the project which you are doing it. Right? Mention this word after today's class. Good understanding of the regular expression. Dot is taking by default A to Z. Yes. Dot means single character. Dot means single character match and any character after this. A to Z or A to Z. This means either capital or small. So this A, E, even if I read R, E, A, D, it will work. It will work. It will work. Treat this as a homework. You can try. It will work. It can be small or it can be capital letter. What happened, Manisha? What is the issue? A to Z comma A to Z means what? Either it can be capital or it can be small. Third character, I don't mind. Third character, I don't mind. It can be small or it can be capital. Right? What Priyanshu has said is correct. What Priyanshu has said is correct. Okay. Yeah. Should I move proceed further? Should I proceed further? Okay. Yes. Let's see. Password. Okay. Curly bracket, curly bracket matches exactly M time. S2, what does this mean? S2, S appearing only, S is appearing twice, two times. Yes, yes, it's appearing. No, it's not appearing. Two times. Together it has to be. This doesn't mean, okay, S yaha hai, fir baad mein S aaya, fir baad mein S aaya. Nahin. that is a different regular expression altogether. 
S2 means matches exactly M time, whether two S is appearing together or not, whether two S is appearing together or not, right? Whether two S is appearing together or not. Yes, it is appearing. Yes, it is appearing. No, two S is not appearing together. So there will be a cross for this. There will be a cross for this. Okay, there will be a cross for this. Clear? Underscore that can take any character, special character, one to zero numerals. Yes, correct. Okay. Next. Let's move on to the next. Ah, next. Let's check. Let's check the breakdown. Focus on the screen for two minutes. Let me know if you have any doubt. Focus on the screen for two minutes. Yeah. Focus on this screen two minutes and let me know if anywhere any have doubt. Right. Password S2. Correct. I is there. It won't eat. SS is there. Yes. It's self-explanatory, right? This slide is self-explanatory. You don't need my help also. Wherever two S is appearing together, wherever two S is appearing together, there will be a tick. Okay. There will be a tick. Whether two S is appearing together. Right. Two S is appearing together. Password. So it will get ticked. S and S. Right. Correct. And sister, two S is appearing, but they are not together. Okay. They are not together. I'm checking. So th that's why I told you regular expression works like a charm for the validation purpose. When you'll study the NLP, NLP course, when I'll be launching this NLP course, then at that time you will understand it. That's why this class was very, very important. Okay. Sorry. Uh, this is done. Then next is star. Star matches zero or one. Dot means single character. Dot means single character. Star means matches zero or more. A, B, star, C. A, B, star c matches zero or more either 1c 2c 3c right after ab after ab 1c is there correct but why 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 there is a tick here why there is a tick here in ac ab star matches zero or more why there is a tick in the third why there is a tick in the third star matches zero or more star matches zero or more Star matches zero or more. Why they, why third is yes, yes, I need explanation. Why third is right? Who can tell me? It's very easy. Just focus. If you can focus on the second part, you can focus on the third part. Why ACC is wrong? Why AC is correct? AB can be right here. AB can be right here. No, the first one is right, of course. First one is, of course, right. Why second one is wrong and third one is right? Why second one is wrong and third one is right? One minute. Let's see. Huh. Understand this. A, B, star, C. So A, B, C, A is there. Check. Check constraint. Correct. I'm checking it. Yes, correct. Tick is there. B is there. Correct. B is there. Correct. Yes, Manisha is right. B is there. Correct. Star. Star means followed by zero or more character. C is there. Correct. So my first case is correct. So this is entirely all the check condition has been passed. All the check condition has been passed. Let's check about A, C, C. A, C, C. A is there. Yes. Then come C. How come C came into picture? How come C came into picture? After AC, I'm looking for AB. So C, of course, will be a cross. Right? C, of course, will be a cross. And then, then next comes C. This is all will also be a cross. Check won't bet get passed. So try to understand with the previous slide. One second. I'll go back again. Wait, wait, wait. Let me remove this mouse pointer. Yeah. Huh. One minute. Ah, try to analyze this. Here it is fine. Zero or more. It says, guys, zero or more. Zero or more. Zero or more character. Right? Zero or more character. Correct? So star means zero or more character. So either it can be C or one or two or three. Zero or more. That's why it's taking. You can always try it in the snowflake. Try. I'm not, I'm not trying all this in the snowflake because snowflake, I have another big project for you all. That's why. Okay? Yeah. So these are just the basics understanding which you should be knowing it before proceeding to the regular expression. Okay. Before proceeding to the next one. Zero or more. So AB have to be present here. AB. Where AB? Huh? Yes, correct. No, 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 no. AB doesn't have to be present here. Why AB has to present here? AC is also working. AC it is also working. 
zero or more carat i think okay 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 wait 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 oh that oh something wrong in the ppt acha this has to be ab sorry 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 yeah correct correct you guys are correct i didn't notice that that is c this has to be ab yes yes it's correct so by mistake they, this ppt is not been updated this has to be b but why but what why mohit is very simple star will match zero or more after ab one c is there after ab there is no single character that's all so of course it will work star matches zero or more character dot matches single character no 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 you are misunderstanding it you are misunderstanding it star c doesn't mean matching zero or more either one c or zero c either one c or zero do you understand in probability there is something word called at most i am hungry i'll eat at most two chapati what does that means either two i'll eat or one i can eat or i cannot eat at all it's my choice that's the meaning of at most yeah ab should be present. yes yes okay this slide a little bit modification has to be there yeah that is ab okay okay so regular expression functions so set of sql functions which are used to search and manipulate string using regular expression now snowflake has very inbuilt variety of this regular expression which we can use there are some five to six regular expression which we'll be discussing in today's class and then we can do it so these function can be used on any data type that holds character data make sure regular expression we always apply on the character data it can be string it can be char it can be var char club club maybe a data type which is used in some other uh, warehouse right var char char var char to all those things we can use so the regular expression must be enclosed in single quote mark single quotation it must be enclosed in single quotes it must be enclosed in single quotes if any character is there after star it will count or else it will take zero yes it will count yeah correct yeah okay so the regular expression must be enclosed enclosed in single quote quote marks okay single quotation marks ah these are the hot favorite regular expression function which is widely used in snowflake and one by one we'll also see in the your snowflake when we'll go to the lab section so first one is your regular expression underscore like this is similar to the like operator but allows for the use of regular expression in matching we'll see how this is being done let me go through the overview first of all and then we'll go to the lab and we'll do one by one then second one is the replace search and replace text using regular expression also there's two command in snowflake once replace guys already we have seen in the last class yesterday you can replace all the space with the certain character right that already we have seen make sure you go through my yesterday's video that's why this complete uh, string uh, in i have been divided into three parts part 1 part 2 part 3 yes okay then your instr regular expression underscore instr searches for a string using regular expression pattern and returns the position where match is found it will just return you the position wherever the match is found suppose i am searching searching for any pattern like i am searching for say 1 2 3 wherever 1 2 3 i want the position of that from where it is starting then i can use this regular expression instr okay then is substring regular expression underscore substring it will search for a string using regular expression pattern and returns the match substring if there is a matching then we can do it right make sure these are regular expression this will work on an entire big huge data sets and all right that's why we are going it for this and then regular expression count returns the number of times a pattern appears in the string i want to know the pattern 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 how many times it is being appearing so i can use regular expression count it will give me five times it is appearing 10 times it is getting appearing right now when you study the nlp part there's something called term frequency so there you can play a huge role term frequency means how much each individual word is appearing in every document term frequency so that is a machine learning part that i don't want to drag much into that okay so these are all the 1 2 3 4 5 <laughs> regular expression which is widely used now we are at the end of the class when you see a big expression don't get confused i'll like be explaining you line by line and uh, uh, pattern by pattern okay yeah so first one reg expression like what is this similar to the like operator but allows for the use of regular expression in matching i think some ppt is i think the image is not clear okay so what i am doing it select first name as first name okay last name as last name from hr dot employ where first name this is the like operator so this is the very like operator this is same as like operator right i have not used any regular expression like this is same as the like operator all the name starting with s followed by any sequence of character all the name starting for where the first name is starting with s followed by any character 
So like is widely used in the analytics industry, right? Only the starting word is S. The rest can be anything, doesn't matter for me. I want the list of all the employees whose names start with A, right? Correct? So, so it will count all the names starting with that particular uh, starting letter. Okay? Starting alphabet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> NLP, yeah, NLP is widely used. That's why, that's why I'm uh, discussing that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, listen to this. It's clear? Tell me. I've already explained you this. What I'm doing it? Regular expression like. See the difference. What here I have done? S percentage I have done, right? What I'm doing it here? I need all employee first name of Stephen or Stephen. First name of Stephen or Stephen. Now comes the use case. First name of Stephen or Stephen. So which command you'll use? Regular expression underscore like. Regular expression underscore like. First name, like regular expression underscore, like give the first name, comma, and then your regular expression should always go into the single quotes. Always it should go in the single quote. So I've explained you already. It should start with S. So for the starting part, you will give this, then S, then T, then E, and either it can be Stephen or Stephen. So S, T, E. So V, logical or operator, P, H, E, N, followed by the dollar sign. I want Ian to be end there. There can be certain character after Stephen also. Stephen Fernandez, right? Stephen Fernandez. I don't want. I want Ian should end there. Then and this is it. Ian, I want to be at end there, right? I want then and there to end. So Stephen or Stephen. So it will give me all these details wherever Stephen is coming, right? First name, last name, and the higher date. Okay. Last name, I'm not bothered about. I'm only checking the first name, right? I'm only checking the first name. So this is my requirement. So this is a very straightforward, which is clear. This you can uh, try it in the snowflake. I'm not trying it because the code is there in front of you. You can try it later when I'm uploading this PPT, right? Straightforward to the point. Okay. Yeah. Next one. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. So all employee first name of Steven or Steven, this we have seen. Yes. Meta character, start of the string. Guys, see, I have told you, I will explain you every Every word by word, every letter by letter, that's what I'm doing it here, right? That's why I'm doing it here. Explanation of everything, right? Any, say, uh, uh, regular expression started with a single quote. This is the start of the string. I want to start of the string with S. Beginning letter of the string is S-T-E. Start of the group, always your angle bracket, your normal bracket in your keyboard denotes the group. I'm grouping it, whether it can be V or whether it can be PH. V or PH, this is the logical op. Right? Next character is V, our next character PH, end of the group. Entire thing, I'm grouping it. Ending letters of the string, end of the string. Make sure you give this dollar sign. If you don't give this dollar sign, things will go haywire. Stephen can be also there. S T E P H E N D. It will go wrong then. Right? So make sure whenever you are ending it, always give a start from where you want to start and give the ending. Start is always this, end is always your dollar sign. And is always your dollar sign. Okay. Clear? Yeah. Okay. Next. What is this? Search and replace text using regular expression pattern. Regular expression underscore replace. Regular expression underscore replace. So what exactly I'm doing it here? Uh, say this. <laughs> I told you things will become go haywire. Right? As soon as we progress further down the line in this session, you will see big, big regular expression. But these are very, very easy. Try to understand. Try to understand very carefully. Okay. Huh. Listen. Okay. Now, how is your phone number, guys? Let's spend some time, 10 minutes on this. How is your phone number? Phone number uh, in my uh, iPhone also, I use iPhone. So whenever I type phone number, it takes by default US way, right? Three digit, three digit, and then four digit it takes. That's how it saves the number, right? First three digit, next three digit, and last four digit. 10 digit, we all know the number is 10 digit. Country code is not included. Forget about the country code. Okay. Right? So these are the numbers. These are the numbers. Before dot three digit. This, so this is the first element which has three numbers. This is the second part of the dot which is the three number. This is the third part of the dot which has four number. Now my agenda is, my agenda is first three First three numbers before the dot, I want to club in the bracket. I want to group them. 
and every subsequent dot I want to replace with dash. That is my requirement. Maybe client is not happy with this for raw format. He's not happy. He wanted to, to uh, do this. Basically, data, data migration, which we are doing it. Treat them as a data migration, okay? I'm considering data migration. I'm doing it from one format. I want to do it in the different format. Then how you will go ahead. Then how you will go ahead. First of all, everyone is a... Is digit a keyword in the, the Snowflake? Digit is a keyword. Uh, I didn't get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that one you took it. Yes, 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 yeah. Okay, now everyone is aware, first of all, let's break this into chunks. Everyone knows this curly bracket. If I write any number, what does this mean? That many times it is occurring. That many times it is occurring. So this three is clear. This is clear. Three, three and four. Because first three dot, three digit is there. Next dot, three digit is there. And at the end, four digit is there. This three, three, three is clear, right? Three, three and four. And always you write the number with the curly bracket. Number in the curly bracket means that many matches I want. Four, no, four matches, right? I want four matches, three matches and three matches. I want four matches, three matches and three matches. So this is very clear. How can we replace with uh, simply space instead of this? Huh? Here, can we replace with simply space instead of this? Ah, you can, you can. You can, of course. I'm teaching you the one way. This is my requirement. See, reformat phone number. Client can say, give me the space here. So just have a single quote over there. Okay. Right. So this is the one. Right. So first three digit before the dot, three digit after the dot, and uh, four digit after the dot. This is there. Now, let's understand one thing. Let me go to the next one. Then I'll explain you over there. What exactly we are doing. Yes. Listen this. Okay. Three digit. Three digit group one. We have three group. We all know we have group one, we have group two, we have group three. In group one, we have three digit. In group two, we have three digit. In group four, we have three digit. Now, what was the meaning of this? Who can tell me? I've explained you clearly. What was the meaning of square bracket? When I was explaining you the, when I was explaining you the table where this was there, what was the meaning of that? Ah, what was the meaning of this? Matching list. Matching list, okay? That was the matching list. And what was the meaning of two colon? Two colon. Two colon means it specifies a character class and matches any character in the class. These two are important. I'm making use of this. So make sure you're aware. This and this. And also I'm making use of this. Okay. Exactly M time because before the dot three, after the dot three, and after the dot four. This means a matching list and two colon means specifies a character class and matches any character in the class. Okay. Now let me go straight into that slide. Yeah. So what I'm doing, three digits, group one. But why it is written like this? Two times why I'm taking a matching character, right? Then, then a dot. Since the dot is a meta character, we have to use the slash to escape it. What was the slash part? Slash part was a escape sequence, right? Slash was a escape sequence. We have to use the slash to escape it because dot we are escaping it. Got my point? So that's why we are using the slash here. Okay. That's why we are using a slash. Square bracket denotes a list. Sir, yesterday I had created the login account, but I'm not able to get the snowflake data set. Okay. Okay. That's one I have to click here. See, see my first video. Check out my first or second video. Yeah. So slash is a escape sequence. Okay. Slash is a escape sequence. So three digit. First understand this. When you are comparing a digit, all are this digit only, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. So give colon. Right digit is the way and give colon again and then specify this. All the digit I'm specifying inside a list. Okay. All the digits I'm specifying inside a list. And then, yeah. And then what I'm doing is, and then I'm using the this one. Then a dot, since the dot is a meta character, we have to use slash to escape it. Then dot slash. And then dot. So see, colon. This is the square bracket for colon, digit, colon. I'm checking all the digit, ending and closing it, right? Then curly bracket three. I have to specify this. Otherwise, things will go wrong. And everything, I'm grouping it in the angle bracket. Now, you want to include dot because dot was there. I want to read this dot, right? So to read this dot, you need escape sequence character here. This is called the escape sequence slash in your keyboard. Like slash and slash T, yes. 
flash in your keyboard. And then just repeat this. Just repeat this. Just repeat this to get the accordingly. So this is the, for the first digit. This is for the third digit. This is for the fourth digit. Now, what exactly we are doing it here? What exactly we are doing it here? What is this then? After comma, what is this then? Replace. I am replacing this. Replace is the keyword. I am replacing this with, I'll, check, I'll show you the syntax also. I'm replacing this with this slash one, slash two, slash three. Okay. Slam one means I'm replacing it. Com this one. What do you call this? Uh, dash, dash we call now, hyphen we call it, right? In the keyboard. Digit can be zero to nine. Yes, digit can be zero to nine. That also is one way, Perumal. That also is the one way. You can use their zero to nine also. Yes, that also is one way. This is just one way. There can be various different answers of the same expression. I'll show you that also in the lab. Okay. So this is the, just the one way of doing it. And then, wait. And then, yes, understand this. Okay. Ha. Then starts with a one. Slash one means enclose group one in this. Okay. Enclose group one in this. Enclose group in one in this. Sample description I'm showing you. Right. Then add hyphen. Add hyphen. I want a hyphen. Right. I want a hyphen. I'm starting with one. I'm enclosing it in the group one. I'm enclosing it in the group one. Okay. I'm enclosing it in the group one. Then because I need a bracket. Because I need a bracket. So slash one. Then hyphen. Because I need a hyphen. So I'll put a hyphen here. That. Then slash two. Group two. Seven, seven, seven. Then hyphen. And then group three. So your result will automatically be come like this. Right? Come like this. That is escape sequence. That is escape sequence. If you want to include that, that is escape sequence. That is a way of how uh, in the snowflake or in the SQL it reads the character. Right? Slash is escape sequence. I have shown you, you know, this one. Here, 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 yeah. Where it went? Yeah. Slash is escape character. Slash is the escape character. So if you want to include that, say any dot if we want to read, right? Any dot or any uh, the like uh, dash if you want to put it. Then in that case, you have to specify that. Yeah, it's going to group the web expression. Yes, in other way, we can say that. Yes, other way of saying that in the lame terminology. Slash is grouping the web expression. Yes, it is basically grouping it. Okay. Okay, so this is the first use case. One second. Let me go to the snowflake. One thing I want to showcase it to you all. Uh, yes, where was I? No business use case later on. Uh -huh. Okay. Count later on. Where is the replace? Replace, replace, replace. Yes. Uh -huh. The snowflake regex replace function returns the string by replacing specified pattern. If no match is found, original string will be returned. So if there is no match, suppose by mistake you have given any expression which there is no match, then by default it will your original string will get returned. So following is the syntax. What is the syntax is very, very important. So regex x underscore replace. This is the string which we are inputting it in the single quote, which we are inputting the single quote. Then the pattern, whichever pattern you are plotting it and then in the square bracket, whatever the replacement you want. It can be replacement at that particular position, occurrences, and the parameter, right? And that can be the parameter. Say, for example, where first use case, I'll show you, which is highly widely used in uh, the real case. Let me zoom it. Let me zoom it and then let me focus it here. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Suppose I want, I want, everyone has email ID. Client has given you the email ID. 10,000 email ID client has given you. That client has told you, Anand, I need the username. I am not worried about gmail.com, yahoo.com. It doesn't matter for me at all. I want to just get the, I want to just get the what? Only the username. So if you pass it, you pass the email, pass the email ID, and then you extract the username. I'll explain you this. I'll explain you this once again. Let me run this. What I'm getting it. I got Ananja2309, right? I got my username. But how this works? Who can explain me? Who can explain me this part? So entire regular expression, I'm treating it as a single quote. Entire regular expression, I'm treating it as a single quote. My regular expression is at the rate, beginning from the at the rate. I have not given the top sign, that uh, uh, superscript sign, because I'm not starting with that. So I've given at the rate, then dot, dot matches single character, right? And then I've given star. And then I've given star. Com will go in my, com will go as expression. In single angle bracket, com will go my, in my single expression. Then dot again is there because after dot, after dot, I need to match that com completely. 
because any email id gmail.com yahoo.com redditmail.com outlook.com will have dot com at the end right so i'm matching that here dot what is the use of this double slash why i have given this double slash why there is a double slash here why not single slash what will happen if i give the single slash ah huh? why i have given the double slash here Single slash also it worked. Single slash also it worked. Why I have given them the double slash? There could be dot in or dot org. Yes, dot in dot. That is the other case. But why here double uh, this double slash was given? What if I give three slash? Still it is picking up. But what exactly it is happening internally? I want to know that. I want to know why double slash was given. Why not single? Why not three times? Ah, uh, there could be dot in or dot org. Dot in or dot org. Dot in dot org. You are telling, Mohit, what you are telling? Dot in dot org. No, it can be either dot in or dot org. No, any website won't be having two thing. No, 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 Manisha, it has got meaning. Man, kya dey dey diye? Aise nahi hota, right? Dot slash will escape. That what it will escape, Ashish. Yes, that will be escape character. But what it is escaping? What it is escaping? Ah, uh, what exactly it is escaping? Let's discuss the second one. Then you will understand. Let's discuss the second one. Okay. Then I'll come to this. Okay. So this is the expression. My date of birth is as a string. I'm running this. Okay. I'm given one string. My date of birth. I'm treating is as a string. So if I run this. It's coming. String has a my date of birth is four twelve nineteen seventy six. Four twelve nineteen seventy six. Okay. Now, if I run this whole expression, what exactly is the output? Ah, uh, what happened? Ah, sorry. Yeah. Now, a user has written a very high, uh, long string, and you need to extract whatever the date of birth is there. Whatever the date of birth is there. Yeah, it, whatever the date of birth is there, new to extract. Mohit, you just practice whatever I have given. That will be more than sufficient. I have included all the business use case. You can see here regex business use case, master regex, regex SQL practice. I'll give you. Don't worry. Yeah. Now listen, very. Trim. Everyone is knows what does trim do? What does trim does? It it removes all the blanks from start at the end that we know. Trim removes leading and trailing spaces. Right. Forget about this trim. Now regex expression. Regex expression dot replace. I am using it, and then I am passing the string here. Right now, in the string, what is the regular expression? I am using it. How you will extract the the date? How you will extract the date? You need to remove all your character from A to Z and A to Z, whether capital or small, whether capital or small. Any character or string is replaced with blank space and trims those character or string. Yes, this is the best explanation which Anil has given. So any character or string is replaced with blank space here. I am replacing it with a blank space. That's why I am getting this as an output. That's why I am getting this as an output. I am replacing all those characters with a blank space, and then I am reading A to Z. This all knows an A to Z. Just now we have seen A to Z and A to Z, and followed by dot. Followed by dot. I have given here and then dot. I have given because followed by one or more characters. I don't know how many characters are there, right? And then I'm all replacing that character with my space, right? I'm replacing all the character with space, okay? All the character with space. And this I have already explained you in the PPT. What is the use of that dash? Because the date is that in format. I want to read that. That's why escape character I have given slash escape sequence. Why Z? Where is Z? Why Z is that is capital? Is that small? No, that is, wait, 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 wait. Caps lock on. Achha. Ah, by watch. Ah, that has to be capital. Yes, okay. By mistake, I pressed it. Okay, yeah. So A to Z either small or A to Z capital, and I want to escape this also because four twelve date of birth. I need to read between date of birth. What is there? Ah, uh, what do you call that? Ah, huh. hyphen is there. Dash is there, right? Uh, that is a mistake. Yeah, dash is there. So I want to do that. So this is one best use of this. I'll give you all this slide. It will be updated in my GitHub. So don't worry. 
Okay, this is one use. Okay, this is one use of the replace. Let's see what Snowflake has to tell. Let's see the, what Snowflake has to tell. Snowflake, Snowflake, uh, what was this? Replace reg X. Let's see. You should always check the documentation also. Yeah. No, not this replace. No, 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 no. All function. Yeah. So this many function you have in the Snowflake. See, most of them I already have told you and today it will be covered. Regex, regex, replace. Yes. So what is the syntax? So returns the subject with the specified pattern or all occurrences to all occurrences of the pattern either removed or replaced by a replacement string. If no matches are found, returns the original subject. Okay. Subject to match and pattern to match. Very simple. Whatever the subject you want, you will be having this and whatever the pattern you want, you will be having it. Suppose you want to replace it, then you'll have the replacement also. Right? You will have the replacement also. Okay. What does this position says? Number of characters from the beginning of the string where the function starts searching for the matches. And default is one. The search for a match starts at the first character on the left. We have seen 0 and 1. There was an ambiguity in the yesterday class. So the default is 1. Okay. And specifies which occurrence of the pattern to replace. If 0 is specified, all occurrences will be replaced. If you don't give anything, if you give 0, then all occurrences will be get replaced with that. But I have not used it. Right. The replacement string can contain back references to capture group sub expressions or the pattern. Anything you can use. See this here. Select regular expression, customers, New York as customer. What I'm replacing it here. Right. Below this example, how to remove parenthesis. Suppose you want to remove parenthesis. See this. This will come only with practice. You can't learn this in uh, one day or two days. This will come with the practice only. Okay. So don't get confused. Say, I want to remove bracket. Some of you have asked this. See, what is the regular expression for this? Bracket got removed. See, in the bracket, what I all have written? Double slash, escape sequence. Then this is the bracket. I need to pass with double slash. And I have given pipe also. Right? See how it is written. Okay? How it is written. So it is very weird. It is it's not, it, it's not as easy as it is look. In the account I have logged in, I could you please can you advise how can I get so that I can do practice by looking the old classes, sir? You have to run the question. I'll, I'll take that, Krishna. I'll take that. You can create one command if you are not getting it. Others, those who are seeing his comment, Mohit, Anil, and uh, others, Ashish, please help him. Krishna Shah is asking something. We have discussed in the class. Yeah. Okay. Ha. Okay. So this is one case of replace, which you can use it. Okay. Then here also, see this, what is this? Replaces all space in the string with nothing. All spaces are removed. I told you, I told you this example. I told you, do a research. There's no inbuilt function in Snow, uh, Snowflake. Only regex replace can do it. Using regex expression, we can do this. Using regex expression, we can do this. Okay, it will replace all my uh, white space with this. Okay, all the white space with this. Regex replace, let's see. See this. It was the best of time. It was the worst of time. I'm replacing all with. Yeah. So it was the best of time. It was the worst of time. I'm replacing all my space. I'm replacing all my space. Comma will be there. Comma I'm not replacing. Here the space is gone. 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 Space is gone. Everywhere space is gone. Right? Everywhere space is gone. Except Comma, I have not deleted it. Comma, I don't want to remove. Right? There can be any time a case I have seen from the client. Client will ask, let's just, just remove all the comma. I don't want comma anywhere. That also will be a part of regular expression which you can do. Okay? Right? Okay, so this is also one use case. Replace function. Okay, then, yeah. Then what was the next? Next was, where was it? We were here, right? Then next one is your INSTR. INSTR. What does it does? INSTR. Let's see. One second. From current slide. INSTR. It will search for a string using regular expression pattern and return the position where match is found. It will just tell you the given string matches at position number this. Position number. Like how do we do uh, indexing in Python in list form, right? Whenever you have given a list, List index starts with zero in Python. Zero, one, two, three. Suppose I want to know my name, Anand. D, where does D is occur? D occur at the fifth stage. Okay. 
Krishna, reach out to me on my number and my email ID is there. Now you have my number. Reach out to me. I'll help you in that. There's a code which you have to run it. Okay. So select address, comma city from address. Let's see one second. So city address and city. I got it. Okay. Now, yeah. One minute. Yes. See this. Try to understand. Okay. I have selected address, city, address and city. I got the list of all the address. I got the list of all the city. Now what I am using it now. Search for address. Search for address that don't start with a number. That don't start with a number and list the position of the first non-alpha character. Like digit we have taken, alpha also we can take. Okay. Digit we have taken, alpha also have given. As the of the first non, first non-alpha character it says. Okay, so select address, regex expression, INSTR I have used, INSTR because it will give me the position because I want the position, position I want. Then only in this case, you will, if the client or if the requirement is that you need a position, then in that case, you will use it. But rest, you won't be using this. Address, I'm passing it. This is the regular expression. Okay, two square bracket, you know, starting with the colon alpha colon as regular expression location. This I have named it. This I have named it. Now, where address is this greater than regular expression address is greater than one, wherever it is greater than one. What is this? First non-alpha character. What does that mean? First non-alpha character. What is the meaning of first non-alpha character? What is the meaning of first non-alpha character? Do you understand this word? First non-alpha character. What does that mean? How many characters are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why did it give only 10? What is the meaning of this? Who can tell me? First non-alpha character. Alphabet, but all are alphabet. Why this is 10? Why this is 8? Why this is 10? Why this is 8? Huh? Why this is 10? Why this is 8? This means start of the expression. This is the end of the expression. Alpha character is colon, alpha colon. Very simple expression. Digit is colon, digit, colon. Digit is colon, digit, colon, right? Correct. And this is the starts with this. We know, right? So one minute. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, why it is giving only Woodshire Trail and Elkmont Bridge? 10 and 8. 10 and 8. What happened with the others? Because others are starting with a digit. Others are starting with a digit. Got my point. Other are starting with a digit. So this won't come into the picture. This is wrong, 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 wrong. Only these two will come into the picture. Starting is, is the pattern starting with non-alphabet character. Right? See this? Your address and city is like this. So one and fourth address. This is not starting with a digit. So it says... Search for address that don't start with a number and list the position of the first non-alpha character. Position of the first non-alpha character. So position of the first non-alpha character says 10. Why it is 10? Why it is 10? An Elmond Ridge, it is 8. Why it is 8? How it is working? First non-alpha character. So okay, count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, how many spaces are there? Five, 2 space, 5, 6, 7. White is given 8. White has given 8. White is giving 8. How come 8 came into picture? 1 minute. Two. Let's understand this one second. Search for the address that don't start with a number. Okay. That don't start with a number is this. Don't start with a number is 1, 2, Two that don't start with a number is two. Okay. And then next, the next is what? Don't start with a number and list the position of the first non alpha character. Non alpha character 10. Uh, first non alphabetical character. Mm, what does this mean exactly? First non alphabetical character, alphabetical character A, B, C, D. Non alphabetical character means what? How come this 10 is coming into picture? Yeah, she, she has told. Huh? First non-alpha character. What does this mean? First non-alpha character? 10 and 8. 
first non ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got it. It's counting as a space, guys. You should tell me. Come on. I also got confused. First non-alphabetical character means what? Any space, any comma, any punctuation. Space is non-alphabetical. Yes, and you're right. So would count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. First non-alpha character is a ten. Space. Next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Correct. I got the output. I got the output. First non-alpha character. First non-alpha character. That's why. Okay. Yes. Where you have answered? Okay. Non-alpha body H to Z. Is there any? No, Mohit. I can't see your comment. Where you have told? I have asked everyone. No, I don't see answer. Okay, maybe. Ah, Achha, Anil, you have to look it. Maybe I have missed it. Yeah. Okay. Next. No, only five are there. Let me wrap up this class. I'll wrap up this all. Then you can practice it. Okay. Next. Ha. Ah, this I have to tell you. Okay. Now, what is this? Substring. Substring, everyone is aware? Take it. Okay, Mohit. Okay, no issue. Substring, everyone is aware? Substring, everyone is aware? Right? Select star from position. Suppose these are the position 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, dot administration, dot 1700. Okay. 10th position administration, 1700. Maybe something, some value will be there. Right position. Now, what is my task? My task is return position department name. Return only the position department name. How you will do? Tell, think, think, think first. I need only this department name. The, see, all of this real case. This happens when you'll go into the another business use case on the project. They will have this will happen. You will get any, but only when you are working in the NLP project or few in the data analyst also, right? Suppose clients have told that I am giving you this data. Anand, just create one table and keep this ten administration seventeen hundred in separate separate column. That is my agenda. Ten in separate column, administration in separate column, seventeen hundred in separate column. How I can do it? That is my data analyst task. Yes, I need to create a table in the snowflake where 10 will go into the different column. Administration will go into the different column. 1700 will go into the different column. Right. So first of all, I'll drag all this. I need all this. Then I need all this. Then I need all this. And I'll put it into the separate column and I'll create a table and I'll give it to the client. He's happy. That is the basic task. Right. That is the basic task. Split by dot. Split by dot, uh, split by dot. That is for the one file. No, split by dot. How it will work? Split by dot. Split by dot won't work here. Only split by will work only when you have a single file. Consider like a huge file I am giving you. Mohit, what is the reason behind why we are doing it in the here? Why we are just doing a regular expression? Don't consider from one or two line of file your client will your client will give you like ten thousand line of file. Then in that case, how you'll use it, right? Then in that case, how you'll use it? So see this substring. So position, position comma. What I'm treating A to Z, right? And plus sign I'm taking it. Can you understand this? Tell me if you can understand this or not. 1-1-I-2 one, one, as position department from position. Ah, see this. Only return position department name. I know my position department name is after the, after the position number, we can say 10, 20, 30. Let's talk about that in the position number. And after that, I'm doing it in. After that, I'm doing it in the uh, position department name, right? I need administration, marketing, purchasing, human resource, shipping, IT, and all those things. Okay, then in that case, Regular expression, substring. Let's understand the syntax first. Let's understand the syntax before I explain you this. We should always understand the syntax first. Okay. Let's understand the syntax. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Uh, 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 yeah. Yes. What it says, the most common requirement in the data warehouse environment is to extract certain digits from the string. The most common requirement in the warehouse environment is to extract certain digits from the string. That's what we were doing it. Right? That's what we are doing it. The most common requirement in the data warehouse environment is to extract certain digits from the string. For example, 
Mohit slash means that whether whatever the dot or any extra character, whether it is appearing in your file and you want to include that, then in that case, you will use the slash. I've shown you numerous examples I've given you. Okay. Now, listen. So, for example, extract the six digit number from the string data. I want to extract the six digit number, six digit number from the string data. So there are many methods that you can use, but what it says, the easiest method, uh, overwrite, the easiest method to use is the snowflake regex substring regular expression for this requirement. You can modify the regular expression pattern to extract any number of digits on your requirement, six digit, five digit, three digit, four digit. I'll explain, I will explain. Let me come to that, I'll explain. Okay. So Snowflake extracts six-digit number from string value example. Suppose I want to extract six-digit number. This is my code. Say, for example, let's run this code. Area code for employee ID is this, this. 11224412235. Now, if I run this, let me show you the output. What is given? I need to extract 112244. How you will extract? I need to extract 11 two, two, and four, four. Uh, Krishna, you got it. Well done. Okay. I need to extract one, one, two, two, and four, four. Then in that case, how you will extract? Then in that case, how you will extract? Right? This is one way of doing it. Maybe this is not the optimized way. I am not saying this is the optimized way. Maybe this is not the optimized way. Okay? Maybe this is not the optimized way. Right? So what I am doing it here, I am starting with these are all or. Do you understand this? Focus. These are all the or. These are all the or. Where is it? Even I can't see. I, let me zoom it a bit. These are all or. See. These are all or. Can you see? So I have to use two times. Word. Word I am checking it. All the word. Inbuilt function I am using it word. Every time word is there. So I will use it. Right. Then I am checking the, all the space. If space is there or not. I don't think so. This is the optimized gate. You guys can write a much optimized gate for this. Okay. Treat this as also as a homework. The expression is like some encrypted password. Yes. Okay. Ah. Right. And then this I'm taking is one expression. See, this is one expression. This is one expression. This is one expression I'm taking it. Right. Then this is my next second expression. This is my next second expression. Word space. Word or space. Word or space. Starting with a word or space. Because it starts with a word or space. It starts with a word or space. Right? Start with a word or space. Okay. Now, treat this as a homework. I don't want to explain this. Treat this as a homework. I want from you to tell me, maybe this is not the optimized code. I don't think so. This is the optimized code. This is quite confusing. I need to extract. My task is to extract 112244. Okay, 112244. Four. How you will extract it? How it will extract this one? Why not this one? How you will come to know that it is extracting 112244 four and not 12345? Four, How will come to know? Right? In that case, you can use your own regular expression. Forget about this. Let it be. This is something else they have written it. Right? You just write your optimized code. I want your optimized code to see how I can extract 112244, four, four, which you can do this. Another common requirement is to extract alphanumeric values from a string data. Alphanumeric values, alphanumeric numbers, combination of numbers and letters, right? For example, consider below example to extract ID, which is a combination of ID and numeric value. Let's see this. Ah, this is clear. This is very simple to understand. This we have used it already. This is simple. See if I run this. See if I run this. I'll explain you this. ID underscore one one two two three three. Okay. This is the expression I have given you. This is the expression I have given you. Right? And I want to extract. Haan, long time. Ah, practice aega, na, Manisha. Practice aega. Ek hi class mein thoda regular expression. Saalo lagte hai isko master karne mein. Okay? Haan, it's not that one class only you can master it. Yeah. It takes time, effort and energy. So select regular expression substring. This is the string. I want to extract this ID 11223. Not 112233. ID underscore 11223. So very simple. In a single quote, in a single quote, write ID underscore. In a single quote, 
right id underscore so all the words starting with id underscore now what you are checking how many digits are there one two three four five six each digit lies between zero to nine write zero to nine in six six times done your task is done your task is done your task is done right your task is done correct zero to nine 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 that's the number of times you just repeat it and you are checking the character simple okay simple right suppose i am giving you one one task say when i was in my working in the sorry when i was studying my btech okay my roll number was i still remember 1 pi 10 ec 014 i need to extract this who can tell me the code in the comment section 1 pi 10 ec 014 this was my roll number when i was studying pace i need to extract this how you will do that very simple one you can comment it it's very easy first character 0 to 9 next three character next two character is any between a to z nahi ye roll number tha ha 1 pi 10 ec 014 i am 2014 batch pass out 2010 i started and i did my engineering under electronics and communication that's how the roll number is okay suppose i need a regular expression comment everyone comment what is the regular expression for this it's very simple how you'll use this first digit 0 to 9 in the square bracket 0 to 9 in the square bracket right then next two character is p and i capital letter a to z a to z there is not small letter you can use but you have to use both a student can write in the small number also right a student can write in small number also got my point student can write his roll number in the small also many student is there who will write roll number like this then in that case what you'll do 1 pi suppose a student has written 10 E C zero one four. This is also correct. Suppose he is writing an examination, and you are validating his roll number. This roll number is correct. Your validation should come true. You should not deny. Okay. Got my point. So you should include all A to Z and A to Z. The expression which I have shown you, right? Bracket A to Z comma A to Z. That you have to use it, and then you have to validate this. Take this as a homework and try this also. Okay, I'll include this in the code. So this is very very simple. This is the way you can do the validation. So this is the one substring. Let me show you the documentation also. Sub 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 sub. Where is it? Substring. Yeah, same thing. See this very very simple. You can always refer the documentation. First part is always refer the documentation. See this. Result select ID. Word character includes not only the letters A to Z and A to Z, but also the underscore and the decimal digit zero to nine, but not white space punctuation, etc. So you can practice this, right? Substring already I have told you. Go to the documentation. Just execute one by one code. Just execute one by one this, right? And then you will see this. See this ID regular expression substring string one the double slash W plus W plus one two E I as a result. Rather than returning the entire match, return only the group that is the position of the substring that matches that part of the regular expression in parentheses. So these are nothing but the positions. These are not but in the position. Okay. In this case, the return value should be the word after the. What is the use case they are asking here? So practice all this. See how many are there. String one a w h. You were asking the what is the meaning of slash, right? Okay. Uh, Okay, the, so this data is not there. Okay, let's create this table. Okay, chala. Let's create this table. Mm -hmm. yeah. See this? I have written one optimized code for you all. Right? This is clear. Huh? This is clear. Area code for employees one, two, three, four, five. What I am doing it here? I am showing you just one example. I need both for employee ID and I need both. So I'm just checking the digit, starting with the digit. I'm just checking the digit, right? I'm just checking the digit, and I'm replacing all the character with space. I'm replacing all the character with space. So I'll get all the digit. Simple. I'll get all the digit. Very simple. Digit, word, everything is there. One more class, I think I have. To, I need to take on regular expression because huge thing, right? Where we'll be discussing more of the business use case. You want one more class on this, right? Then only I can move to the next part of the uh, SQL. Okay, 
अच्छा अनिल हैज रिटर्न जीरो टू नाइन ए टू जेड ए टू जेड ए टू जेड जीरो टू नाइन ए टू जेड ए टू जेड ए टू जेड जीरो यस करेक्ट आंसर फॉर यूर नंबर यस करेक्ट राइट 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 ओके करेक्ट गुड गुड वर्क राइट सो दिस इज वेरी सिंपल वन वाई गाइज आई एम यूजिंग ट्रिम मेक श्योर यू यूज ट्रिम ऑल्सो आई एम रिमूविंग द स्पेस फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग एंड एंडिंग आई रिमूविंग द स्टेट फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग एंड एंडिंग नॉट फ्रॉम बिटवीन बिटवीन स्पेस आई वॉन्ट ओके बिटवीन स्पेस आई वॉन्ट <laughs> okay 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 ha so that part i was showcasing it to you wait just one second so oh, everything is there in the uh in the documentation which you can refer it okay ha just explain me then then i'll wrap up the class okay second part we'll do the next class what exactly things are happening here so if i do select star from demo first let me show you select star from demo what exactly is happening here uh what happened demo is a uh, demo 3 okay yeah so this is the task a man a plan a candle a man a plan a candle okay a man a plan a candle a man a plan a candle theek hai isme kya kar rahe hain pehla wale mein result 1 result 2 let's see let's see this substring we are studying you know so it's important ha chalo see the result result one gives you man why why it is giving man result two gives giving plan result three is giving candle result four is giving dal Huh? Yeah, I'll leave. I'll leave. Mohit, I'll leave. What? 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 Why is the result is like this? Why the result is four? Do you understand this at least? What is one? What is two? What is three? What is four? What is happening here exactly? And why? E E E E. I have taken. Man is in one group. Okay. Plan is in another group. Canal is in third group. What is there in the fourth group? Why fourth group is null? Why fourth group is in null? Canal is in group three. That's fine. What is the fourth group? What what is the, who will explain me this part? A slash slash. What I have written the meaning of backslash. What snowflake has to say on this? Ah, huh? what is the meaning of double slash here? There is no string. Yes. Where it went? Ha. Huh. The example shows how to retrieve the second word from the first. <laughs> the example shows how to retrieve the second word from the first, second, and third match of a two-word problem in which the first word is a. This also shows that trying to be on, trying to go beyond the last pattern causes snowflake to return null. If you go beyond the last pattern, it will give you a null. Okay, it will give you a null. Take special character, take special escaping. Yes, there is no string, right? So these are the documentation which you can refer it. Okay, I'll I'll take uh, I'll from here I'll take care in the next class. Otherwise, you guys will go crazy. Uh, otherwise, you'll go crazy. Yes, regular expression is there. There might be there are many instances where the th things comes, and this is not like one day or two day project. It takes a week time, five days, ten days. depending upon the situation you need to understand entirely small small things s star s star o right s star s star o everything you need to understand see very nicely given the snowflake documentation so i'll explain also in the next class so that you don't get uh, i mean worried that's what i here substring is written it is giving you the position a to z any character dot followed by a to z see that's why i have written slash and dot escape sequence A to Z and then hyphen, right? Then plus plus means the next part I am checking it again slash and then dot. First word I am checking of every character. First word of every character I am checking. This is completely different from the snowflake. No, no, this is SQL. This is the regular expression SQL. We are doing it in on the cloud. This will be there in the SQL workbench also, right? This is not different from the snowflake. We are doing snowflake only. This is the uh, regular expression which is supported by the snowflake. Yes. Okay. 
uh, this ppt i'll give it to you just practice this and then i'll discuss i'll start my next class from here okay i'll start my next class from here everything i've given see this these kind of expression you will be your client will be sending you like this data okay and then from there you need to extract how many times cat is appearing how many times cat is appearing see nine that's the beauty of this regular expression count so regular expression count is just count whatever the number of characters you are giving it cat very simple regular expression count so it will just count whatever the whatever the string you have passed so cat where how many times it is occurring nine times it is occurring nine times it is occurring no i'm not on mute who said i'm on mute no i'm speaking my voice is not audible yes imagine 10000 lines to find cat yeah in that case so regular expression helps in that case okay yeah i'll talk about it in the next class don't worry there's still many things to go okay next class will wrap up then okay okay then then see you see you on monday i am uploading this uh, slide right in front of you just to be for the 2 minutes so that again i'll forget it so this is the lecture number 13 uh get up repository okay here you go then make sure you go to the snowflake uh, one here you will see main and then you will go to the snowflake so you have to go to the branch of snowflake so all lecture wise folder i have created create new file so this is the lecture number lecture 13 regex part 1 i'll write okay lecture 13 regex reg x in snowflake or just regular expression okay yeah we create one folder quickly and then let's let's see yeah okay okay then add file load file choose your file uh, where is my slide wait 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 desktop yeah here you go oh oh I close it. Don't know who can explain regular expression better than you. <laughs> I appeared for one of the interview. Entire interview for one hour went for the regular expression. They digged it so deep inside. Even I got confused what I was saying because it. इतना कुछ याद नहीं रहेगा. No one can remember all this. You can remember what is the use of underscore. What is the use of star? What is the use of question mark? What is the use of few things you can remember. but on the spot if someone says to write the entire code it becomes really difficult ha huh. these such kind of question they'll ask you how you will do the validation test case for the roll number of the student whose roll number is like this which i have told you so you will say sir will check with all the roll number different possible combination it can be small letter it can be capital letter right so this will be 0 to 9 this will be a to z it can be a to z capital letter or also it can be small letter a to z so these are the validation when you will be doing in the real case of data analyst or any project this is called the unit testing which you does so testing how you will test your code whether it's working flawlessly or not it should pass all the test cases right yes if you learn regex you are pro in text data of course yeah okay so this is there and then okay so 13 regulars okay 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 i have created 11 12 13 string okay regular expression i'll keep it separately okay so regular expression is here and then the code you want right okay notepad i'll copy paste all the code just practice it okay file new just practice this let me paste everything regular expression i'll start from here like it's also there which you can do this okay then this is done then this is the practice control c 
but for the data analyst for latest trend which i have seen they don't give much focus on this yeah it just depend from the company to company if it is in the job description if it is mentioned that uh, ability to work with a large amount of data sometimes they write if in the job description regular expression is mentioned then only you practice it then only you practice one or two days before the exam right else else is not required i'll say yeah only if it is there in the job description then you have to make sure you know such things okay so this is one and then last is the business use case okay i think that's all white space remover also have discussed guys what is the way to remove the white space this also you can go through it so all the notes are there so it will help you easily okay so this also i'm giving it because it's a part of regular expression yeah now it is done now let me save this file and put it save as desktop regex regex and this is a sql file structured query language where is that structured query language of sql one minute structured query language file yeah so desktop i'm saving it yeah so now let me go to this lecture number 13 add file upload file and choose file regex.sql here you go commit yeah so all the data sets is there in the lecture number 13 which you can refer it very easy to go lecture by lecture i have created all the folder so you guys don't have to worry any video if you're watching just directly jump to that lecture number and you'll be having all the data here right you'll having all the data here regex.sql if you open this now ah, it is coming okay everything i have copy pasted yeah just you can try this okay then yeah uh, yeah, like for Sanoj. Yes, of course. If you learn regex, of course. Because a Python also, you'll be using it, right? You don't know. 90% companies don't have. Yes, even only one company have asked me. Only one. It just depends. What is our day-to-day -day task which they are working on? But it's good to learn. Okay, since we are learning Snowflake and that's what the agenda of this YouTube channel, not to leave even a single topic. So that's why I'm here. Yeah, because SQL, we are all are learning. Joins and also later on. Okay, then. Okay. Okay, then that's all for today. Enjoy a weekend. See you tomorrow. And then we'll take, we'll take on Monday. Monday, my new life, my new office starting. So let's see how it goes. Yeah. Okay, bye guys. Take care. Good night. I'm signing off now. We'll see you on Monday. Okay. Anywhere, any doubt, if you have, feel free to ping in that particular video. Whichever video you get stuck, just ask me the dot. I'll happy to uh, 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 clarify your doubt. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, new office next to my house only. It's there. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Krishna, you have any doubt? I have the number in any of the YouTube video which you watch it. The number is already there. If you can ping me on WhatsApp or any time. Yeah. Bye. Bye, guys. Take care. Take care. Yeah. Okay. Bye.